Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to the video on how to play the rhythm from Champagne Supernova. So, basically, I've been learning the solo over the last couple of days. I've forgotten how much I love this song, so uh, I thought I'd do the rhythm quickly and then I'll get the solo done um, as well. So, anyway, let's just crack on. So, like a lot of Oasis songs, it's relatively simple in its chord sequence and it's, um, you know, and it just works really, really well. So, let's go through. The first section, which is the verse and the first chorus, is all the same chord sequence. Basically, it's based around an A sus2 chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to play 2nd fret D string and 2nd fret G string. So that, and then you're going to strum from the A string downwards. And that is an A sus2. Little bit of music theory for anyone who cares. Um, basically, it's a sus2 means suspended 2. So what we've done is we've taken out this note, the C-sharp note, which is what would make it a major chord, an A major, which is that. We've taken that out, so it no longer has a major note. It doesn't have the minor note, it has a 2. So it's suspended because it doesn't have a major or a minor note. And it's a 2 because that's the note we've replaced the major note with. So that's why it's called a suspended second. Hopefully that makes sense to some of you who care. So that's the first chord. The second chord is actually the same shape, but we're going to play the G bass. Okay, so you you know in my um, um, tab book of this, it's just called an A sus two slash G. It's not technically the right name of the chord because the G note would change the chord to basically you know you've, you've kind of it's an add nine now, but it's not that important. Oh my cat's here. Um, <laughs> just see me stroking her back there. Um, the next chord, what we're going to do is we're going to tack on the F sharp note. Now I will. Quite often play this with my thumb, but you can also play it with your first finger as well. So that's second fret E string is an F sharp note, okay? So feel free to, to use whichever finger or thumb, whichever makes most sense to you and feels right. And then for the fourth chord, we've still got the same shape, but we're going to start with the E string. You see that vibrating there, instead of the A string. So we move the root up to the E string. And that really is just an A sus2 slash E. It doesn't have a different snazzy name. So the F sharp would have a, a snazzy name as well because that's the sixth note in the scale. So you've got kind of an add two and an add six, so it becomes a ridiculously named chord. So let's just play through the, so those are our chords. We've got A sus two, slash G, slash F sharp, slash E, basically. And the rhythm is, we're gonna play open A string, which is the root note. Then I'm gonna do a down strum, then an up strum, Okay, it's not down up, it's down, then an up strum. Then I'm gonna play another open A with a down pick again. I'm gonna now play down, down, up. For anyone who knows the way I like to talk about these notes, that I like to call that um, a cake jaffa because that's the rhythm, so it goes cake jaffa. And that's that down, down, up at the end, okay? That's the rhythm for all the chords. So let me just play it through and I'll kind of talk over the top uh, and then I'll just play it through a couple of times so you can hear it. So it's gonna be root notes, strum, down, and then an up. Then root notes again, down, down, up. Then we're gonna do the same strumming pattern. We're now gonna move the root notes to here. Down, up, roots, down, down, up. F sharp. play that through a couple of times. I've got quite a lot of distortion on, so hopefully it's not too much. Um. it that is that whole section basically so that is um yeah as i say it's that it's the intro it's the whole first verse it's the first chorus as well and then it's the second verse as well and it's also most of the outro um so it's a huge chunk of the song so you just need to get used to that little cycle um cool and then 
next bit will be I'm going to cut here because I really fancy a sip of coffee and I just made one and it's really nice um, uh, I'm going to cut here and then uh, yeah blah blah blah, 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 blah. okay <clears throat> coffee sip was good um, so now we're going to do uh, the chorus and this is kind of for me this is the real chorus but it's actually got the same lyrics as the first chorus which has the previous chord sequence I'm confusing myself uh, anyway so what we do is we play through the um, the chords just as we had before, but we're going to stop on the F sharp. We're going to play. Okay, and rather than going to the final, the fourth chord of that cycle, we're just going to go to a normal E chord. Okay, and then we're going to do the rhythm, which is going to be the rhythm for most of the the bars in this, uh, most of the chords in this sequence, it's going to be down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. <laughs> so it's a nice comp uh, complicated one. What I will do is um, I'll play it through a couple of times here and then you'll see a, a very iffy cut as usual and I'll literally, I'll just film myself doing the strumming pattern kind of slowly and quickly so you can just see the strumming pattern on its own and I'll just do it with an E chord to start with and then I'll go through the rest of the chord. So let me just play it through here a couple of times as I talk through it and then you'll see the cut to me just, just doing it with the right hand. So it's gonna be uh, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So again, with my cake jaffers, it would be cake, 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 jaffer, jaffer, cake, cake, jaffer. Okay, that's how I. That's literally how I read it through because I'm weird. So let me just play it through uh, a couple of times. Okay. One more time for luck. So that's the rhythm. Um, so the first chord is going to be an E, and as I say, that's tacked on actually to the previous four chord sequence. So now really the chorus kicks in. So over that E, um, it will be, you know, so over this bit, it'll be where were you while we were getting high, and then someday you will, and then we're into the chorus proper. A chord, same rhythm. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. A chord. G chord. Usually, um, with Oasis, they do a G5, okay? So do a G5, because that's <laughs> that's literally what they're gonna do. So two fingers on the bottom as per, middle finger playing the root, dead in that A string, G5 chord, awesome chords, and we're gonna do the same rhythm again. Then we're gonna do an F sharp minor six, okay? Which is similar to the sus two slash F sharp, but it's slightly different, because we're now gonna move our fingers down a string each. So it's gonna be second fret on the B string and second fret on the G string. And then we're gonna play the root note, which is F sharp note. And again, I'm gonna kill that A string. And same rhythm again. So it's two on the E, two on the G, two on the B, dead and A string. And then we end the sequence by going back to E. And then again. final bar we're going to do an E chord but we're going to change the rhythm a little bit we're going to go down down then it's just down up down up then down 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 up down up okay so let me just play the whole sequence through I will go through the final time of the previous chord sequence so you can hear where the E comes in and then go through I'll just play through the chorus okay <laughs> I just played it wrong. Let's do that again. Come on, Paul.
That is the Chorus. Um, and next bit is the bridge, and that's almost it. So I'll have another cut whilst I take another sip of coffee, and then we'll be on to the bridge. Okay, so uh, now we're back with the uh, bridge. Um, this is the way it goes, but you and I will live and die. The world keeps turning around. That bit. So we start with uh, a G chord. Got two bars of G, two bars of A, then we go G, D, two bars of E. So pretty simple chord sequence. We've got a D chord for the first time, so it changes the, the kind of the tone a little bit, but it's yeah, pretty simple chord sequence. So rhythmically, it's gonna be the easiest rhythm so far, I think. We're gonna go down, 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 up. So basically it's six downs and then a down, down, up. So let me just play it through slowly again. G chord again, we're gonna do a G5. Often you'll see me put my finger on because, you know, just well, as soon as I stop concentrating for a second, I just automatically put that finger down, but I'm gonna try not to. So two bars of G. Down, 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 up. And again. Then to two bars of A, same thing. Down, 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 up. One bar of G. Bar of D. And then we go to E, but we're going to do a slightly different rhythm. We go down, 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 up, and then we do the same thing again down, 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 up. So it's going to be. Okay, so again, I'll just play it through uh, without talking over the top so you can just hear it. But basically, the first section is all gonna be lots of downs, six downs, and then a down, down, up. And then for that final bar, we have two downs, and then a down, down, up, and then two downs, and a down, down, up. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so basically the first time round after that, we go back and we do the all that kind of stuff, um, and you get the get the right lick really really helps, and then the I'll cover that little uh, bit when I do the solo lesson. Um, because that, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that little bit onto the solo. So I won't worry about that now, I'm literally just gonna do the chords. So we've got two more bits to go through. I'm gonna go through the chords underneath the solo and then we're gonna do the little bit of the ending. So the chords underneath the solo, I'm gonna do actually as bar chords. I'm gonna go A, G, F sharp minor, <laughs> good chord ball, F, G, and then again. So I'm doing the same rhythm there as I did in the bridge section, because I think it just sounds best underneath underneath the uh, chorus. And that's basically it. So it's it's down, 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 six downs, and then a down, down, up. And then on the final bar, we do this, the rhythm that we did over the E chord, which is down, 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 up. And then we're going to move down, 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 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, down, down, up. Same again. F sharp minor. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. And that's basically the uh, chord sequence underneath the solo, so. Anyway, that's a little, that's the first couple of licks of the uh, solo there. Uh, yeah, cool, and then uh, we have another cut, lots of cuts in this video, and then it will be um, the outro. Okay, so the outro. Um, predominantly the outro is going to be this chord sequence again. Mm 
And then on that final time, we go through the first three chords as normal. F sharp, up, bass down, down, up, and then we're gonna do a, a, an F. I'm gonna do that little snazzy um, outro bit, which I slightly fluffed. <laughs> So it's going to be, uh, and we're actually going to concentrate on just getting the triad of the F. Obviously you can do it as a full chord, but I'm going to go through the little whittly version. So it'd be, it would be F, G, uh, A if you just want to strum the chords. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a triad, which is going to be first fret B string, second fret G string, and then third fret D string. And that's the three notes that make up an F chord, F, A, and C. I said C whittly, but it is a C. I'm going to pl play the first two like that, and as I strum it, I'm going to do a hammer on on the first fret, and then I'm going to pull off. Then I'm going to play G string 2nd fret, D string 3rd fret, then I'm going to play 2nd fret D, 3rd fret D, and then I'm going to play 2 2nd frets. That's the rhythm of it. Then we're going to do a similar thing over the G chord. I'm going to play the G just literally with my third finger. I'm going to deaden that A string again. And I'm going to do another hammer on pull off on that first fret B string. Second fret on the G there. Open B. So it's second fret, second fret, open B. Then on that A chord, I'm going to start with an A sus2 and I'm going to hammer on onto the A major note, which is the, sec uh, the second fret B string. So I get that sound. So, there you go, snazzy little outro, um, obviously as I say you can just go, there's a row which means you slow down and then you hit the A chord, and then you can do lots of, which I'm pretty sure is the bend at the end there, cool, uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to go through the solo in a separate video. Next video you'll probably see will be me playing the solo, then it'll be me teaching the solo. I'll go through the bit in that solo and I'll also talk about the other the other widdly bits he does in the solo. I'm going to concentrate more on that. That's just the chord sequence. That's all of the song. Awesome song. Go and play it. Play it with your band. It's awesome. It's awesome. Everything's awesome. Um, everything is cool when you're part of a team. Um, and please, as usual, please like the video. Uh, comment on the bottom as I said it really helps guys and, and a few people have been doing it I do really really appreciate it um, uh, yeah and I will see you guys like share subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done already forgot that one um, and I will see you guys soon for the two other videos I'm going to do on this song awesome bye bye